What's going on guys? Comes here back again on another MLB The Show 20 Diamond Dynasty video. It is Tuesday and we have a content update. We have, I think, three new, one new prospect, two new uh, future star cards, brand new series to this year. Um, then we have a brand new free Diamond Legend Catcher. I have no idea who any of it is. I'm going to be learning just alongside you. But before we hop into this one, make sure to leave a like down below if you guys are enjoying the content really means a lot to me and subscribe to the channel if you guys have not yet i do updates whenever they come out really try hard to get them as soon as i possibly can uh, i'm gonna have really good gameplay tonight with prestige jose ramirez you guys are not gonna want to miss it games were absolutely crazy but that being said let's go ahead and get into this one i want to look at the free legend player first it is going to be a new program it's jorge posada i didn't think it was going to be but oh baby and i I'm happy that it is 85 Jorge Posada is brand new and it is free here's the card uh, 70 95 contact against lefties 82 69 power 48 vision kind of low that really kind of hurts this card a lot in my opinion 74 speed 77 arm 74 block 31 speed and of course uh, the big positive with this Posada card is he's a switch hitting catcher now, to be honest, this is not a bad card. It's not the best either. If this card had like 70 vision, um, even despite the not great power against lefties, it would be pretty dang good. It is still pretty solid. I think this is going to be a great backup catcher that you guys can have on your squad. Or if you're just starting into Diamond Dynasty, I think this will be a great catcher that you can have there. Uh, for now, I still think for a budget player, the uh, level 40 show classic Gary Sanchez is going to be better. But um, this isn't nice solid card and once again the main thing that you guys have to remember is you're going to get 20 program stars for the second inning program which is probably going to be even bigger especially if you have not completed that yet uh, so this is going to go as usual just breeze through the moments um, all you have to do is play all the moment challenges and then play the Yankees on all-star difficulty and you're gonna get this Jorge Posada tally five extra base hits one home run uh, three hits two extra base hits seven total bases one homer uh get on base nine times in four games and hit a home run this is a multi-game dashboard if you guys need to uh tally one hit uh, a couple more eight hits in four games three extra base hits another multi-game uh a third multi-game five games you have to get four hits and two extra base hits and then if it wasn't another you need a, another multi-game moment so there's going to be four of those bad boys and this one is five games get on base nine times and get one extra extra base hit uh, so that's what it's going to be looking like 85 Jorge Posada he is a brand new free card into the game let's go ahead and take a look at the brand new event which is going to be the future is bright featuring Alec Baum as the high reward uh, so let's go ahead and check everything out if uh, I actually click on the right thing uh, here we go the first new card is going to be 86 Logan Gilbert he is going to be a brand new prospect card. Uh, 87 stamina, 79 hit 9, 84 K9, 75 walks per 9. Going to throw a four seam, a slider, a curveball, and a changeup. 95 miles per hour on that four seam. Uh, pretty good differential. 14 miles per hour drop off on that changeup. Nothing fantastic. Pretty substandard. Mid 70s, 80s per 9s. Um, could be a solid pitcher. Who knows? Um, not bad at all. That's what you get at 25 wins. This event is going to be six in a game and all-star difficulty where you can use face of the franchise players uh, prospects and future stars for 40 wins on six inning games you're going to get this Gavin Lux uh, a lot of people are looking forward to this card and uh, he looks pretty pretty good 99 and 88 splits against righty 76 and 78 against lefties I wish he had the 80 threshold against lefties but it's still not bad 70 vision pretty pretty good you know average gold defense with 80 at second base can also play shortstop 72 arm uh still passable to put at shortstop 72 is good enough and 75 speed i would prefer to put him at second base and this is a really good card it is really good honestly i think this is better than the wander franco that they put out for the prospect reward i almost would rather have him there even though it is a ray um i think this gavin Lux looks like a very solid card all the way around like i said 40 wins for that and our first future star card alec bohm right here uh for the phillies 
Damn, uh, 104, 91 contact, 92, 84 power, 91 vision. That is really good at this time of the year. Third baseman with 70 fielding can also play first base at a uh, at a bronze shield. 94 arms, so he's not uh, he's not great defending. Uh, silver defense is still pretty solid. I would not play him at first base though, because that 94 arm is really handy at third, and you hardly ever use it over at first. And I have silver defense Eddie Matthews at third. He plays just fine. 58 speed. Um, of course, the big thing to always think about with the prospect cards is you don't know how good their swing is. I've not used the 85 Alec Bohm. I don't know how good he is, but on paper, this card looks really, really good. Um, this is a very nice card. A lot of power, a lot of contact, a lot of vision, a lot of arm strength. So that's going to be at 50 event wins once again for uh, six inning games. I would say... I, I imagine this card isn't going to be any more than 50k maybe. Um, somewhere in that 50k window I think is how much it's going to go for. Then there's more packs if you guys decide to keep playing it. Um, taking a look at the new headliner in the game, we have Nick Madrigal, 95 overall. Um, another future star card. This card comes in with 111 in 99 contact, 5360 power, 114 vision, diamond defense at 92, 75 arm, 87 reaction. Basically maxed out speed and 92 steel. This card is really good. I have not, I think I have faced him. I don't recall if he uh, like really did some damage and probably not if I can't remember specifically. Uh, but this card, once again, is great. Diamond defense at second base. Uh, would like to see the arm a little bit better, but not a huge deal. Obviously, he doesn't have a ton of power, but the vision and the contact, you're not getting him for the power. And to be honest, with that speed, you're going to be stretching a lot of singles into doubles anyway, so that's going to increase the slug. I think this card is really good as well. I think the Alec Ball might be a little bit better just because he has more power, uh, but these are two very good prospect cards that we're going to be seeing, and uh, I guess we will open a couple packs here because uh, why not? We pulled the diamond last time. We pulled Christy Matthews in. I would prefer to pull Nick Madrigal because I bet he's going to go for more on the market. So we're going to open three of those. And uh, let's just start with the 10-pack bundle. I also do want to mention uh, a lot of MLB The Show creators are going to start putting out reveals for future star cards uh, for the Stage 2 Team Affinity. I'm not going to post a video on any of those. And uh, if you are an aspiring content creator, I really hope that you don't either. This is their reveal. Don't like, don't post the card that they're revealing and steal their uh, limelight. So a um, lot of guys have been doing that. I know Healy, I think, has this today. A lot of guys in the community are getting to reveal cards. And uh, of course, stage two is going to be going live on Friday. So a couple days away, I am very, very excited. We still have a bunch more content coming this week. We have more April Player of the Month cards. Presumably, Jason Vargas is what I'm thinking. Uh, we're going to have a new headliner on Friday, Stage 2 Team Affinity. Uh, there's a lot of stuff coming. Over 30 more diamonds coming this week. It is going to be a blast. A uh, ton of content to look forward to. Unfortunately, I'm not really looking forward to opening these headliner packs because this first bundle, if it is any indication on how they're going to go, is not particularly well. Uh, let's go ahead and open them. I'll take my silver, I'll take my, uh, we'll get a gold this pack, how much do you guys want to bet? Okay, no, I'm wrong. And we'll take my other silver right here. Just not good fortunes today, um, I should have known, we got Christy. We aren't going to get anything else, I am not going to open more, despite how tempting it is. I'm not going to open more. It, headliners are a scam. You guys have heard it many times from me. Am I contradicting myself? No. I do it for the content, baby. I do not re I do not recommend it by any stretch of the imagination for you guys to actually open these packs. But Nick Madrigal, how much do I think you should pay for this card? Honestly, I could see him going for 50, 60k and staying within that window, if not around this price. He is really good. There's not a whole lot of great second baseman that you can buy on the market currently. There's the Roberto Al Alamar for, or I guess Gavin Lux is now going to be one of them. Uh, but I like these cards a lot. The 
the only one that isn't great is Logan Gilbert, but he's the lowest overall. You kind of expect that. And uh, Balm, Lux, and Magical are all really good cards. So this is a great drop. I think they did really, really well. And I am very excited for the rest of the content we're going to see this week. Let's see if they did update the schedule. They did indeed. And we are, of course, going to see uh, one April Lightning Flashback Returns. I imagine that is... Uh, I'd imagine that's going to be uh, D.D. Gregorius, so we have that to look forward to. Uh, Friday, new POTM, and then uh, on my birthday, on May 1st, we're going to see the third inning program. So nothing I'd rather do on that day than sit here in this chair and grind. But then again, with everything going on in the world, it's not like I do much else. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.